podcast with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. And happy 4th of July to you. I'm Brian Skimmons in for Kristen this evening. And we're not starting off too bad on our 5th of July tomorrow. We'll see some high clouds, especially through the morning hours. You may have seen those clouds tonight. That's a system brushing by to our northwest. I'll show you here on the satellite in a minute. By the time we get to 3 o'clock, we're already up to 79 degrees, and we're topping out at 85 degrees on July 5th. Check out this great photo sent into us. Laszlo sent this in from, uh, took this from Underwood, Washington, which is kind of on the, uh, basically just east of Lyle and Stevenson Carson. That's a lenticular cloud there kind of offset from Mount Hood. Just a spectacular photo. Thanks so much, Laszlo, sending that in to us. Report it at coin.com. Statewide highs, 80 officially here in Portland, 83 down the valley in Salem, 94, the warm spot in Medford, 90 in K Falls, and 94 also for Burns. And taking a look in the history books, I was kind of curious, how, have, how did today's July 4th stack up to previous years? Well, 2010, we were 67 degrees with cloudy skies, no rain in the rain bucket, 81 degrees for 2011. 2012, 75 degrees, all the better we could do. And last year we were 75 degrees, same as 2012. And then, of course, coming in at 80 degrees today. So overall, not too bad, just about a perfect 4th of July. And temperatures at this 11 o'clock hour, still 71 downtown, 66 for Vancouver, as well as Hillsboro. Good evening to you, Tigard, 67 degrees, 57 for Astoria, 67 for Salem, and still 74 at this 11 o'clock hour in the Dallas. Live satellite Doppler radar. You can see a lot of showers off the coast. A lot of these are what we call verga, or basically more moisture that's evaporating before it hits the ground. Overall, the jet stream in the next 24 hours is going to start to nudge to the northwest as it does so. That sends this system and the storm track well to the north. In fact, Raincast illustrates this all quite nicely. Notice the high clouds early on tomorrow and maybe a shower, stray shower up towards the northwest coast of Oregon and southwest coast of Washington. But then as we go into the afternoon, the sky is clear, turns into a spectacular sunny finish to our Saturday. So let's break down that forecast. Out along the coast, some morning showers possible, especially up towards Long Beach and Astoria. Otherwise, a nice finish to the day. The valley, high clouds in the morning, increasing sunshine in the afternoon. 87 in the afternoon after morning lows in the mid-50s. Central and eastern Oregon, sunny and warm day. Afternoon highs, 95 for Burns. Going to be a toasty one there. In the gorge, mostly sunny skies. A west wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. 84 for both Hood River and Government Camp. And your free or freezing level coming in at 13,000 feet. Here in the Portland metropolitan area, 85 downtown after a morning low of 56. Some high clouds early on and then turning that sunny... Sunny skies in the afternoon, 85 across the board and 86 out towards Beaverton, 86 towards Clackamas as well as Oregon City, and up to Columbia and Clark Counties, 84 for Scappoose. Breaking down that seven-day forecast, here comes that heat. I promised it was coming back. Sunday, Monday, 88 Sunday, 90 Monday. Tuesday looks to be the peak, and then we start to slowly cool down back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Morning clouds afternoon sunshine. So when you went back and looked at the 4th of July yes. of the past, they all seemed pretty nice. How come I only remember as a kid it <laughs> raining and being cloudy? I guess. Well, I can tell you this. I, I wasn't surprised. I was actually kind of surprised about 2011. That's the year I got married. Okay. And I remember we got married in early August and it poured the weeks prior to. Somehow we had nice weather in early July, but I remember later July, gotcha. right before I went in, it, it poured. So it does still, we st still occasionally get those years where it rains, but we lucked out this those year. Those are the ones I remember. Yes. Mm. <laughs>